welcome to my makeup monday for monday the 6th of may 2024 my name is denise mccabe and i'm a stamping up demonstrator in australia on the new south wales central coast so welcome today i'm going to do a fun fold card it's called um a center a center standing z fold i think that's what it's called <laughs> i can't remember for sure um it's like a it's a z fold but it's standing upright so there you go <laughs> um i'm using online exclusive products i didn't realize that until i looked at everything i was using and i thought oh they're all online exclusives so i am using online exclusive products that you can shop um and see when you go to the online store um when it says shop products on the left hand side um can drop down to shop products you can drop that menu down and they'll be online exclusive so you can click on that and then there's a search bar at the top and you can just type in anything you're wanting to look for um just you know dog stamps for example and it'll bring up any stamps that have got dogs in it um flowers that could bring up a lot so <laughs> you might need to be more specific if you're wanting to find the magnolia mood bundle then type magnolia in and search for that and it'll bring it straight up or you can just browse through the whole lot of online exclusives so let's switch down to the craft desk and we can get started okay so speaking of dog stamps we are going to be playing with this one dog gone friendly um, so it's a big background stamp it's $35 and as I said it's in the online exclusives and I'm going to use the sentiment out of garden meadow so I've got anything that's an online exclusive I've got a green dot on um, so the sentiment the happy birthday out of garden meadow we're going to use that um, we are also going to use the deckled circle circle dies so that's got a green dot so it's an online exclusive as well and for anybody who hasn't seen the oh there's two more new kits out today oh not today this month but this was like one of the kits last month called by your side and it was a doggy one so actually it's a dog and cat one i shouldn't shouldn't play favorites <laughs> you can see i've got all the dog ones at the top <laughs> there we go so yeah it's eight cards and you can make up four of each four doggy ones and four cat ones um so i'm going to use a stamp this one comes with a little stamp set so i'm going to use the pour out of this stamp set so and the reason why i'm doing a doggy card today is there is a little person a little doggy <laughs> in this household that has a birthday tomorrow so I needed to make a birthday card for that little doggy. So I have been playing with the um, Dog Gone Friendly stamp today. I've been having a bit of a play. This is, um, um, I can't think of, oh, I've gone blank again. Um, I can't think of what this is, a triple stamping technique. But I did it a little bit differently. I stamped it. The big background stamp and then I cut it out with the deckled rectangle dies and then layered it on um, copper clay card that's not exactly how you meant to do triple stamping but I liked it and it's it's all in dimensional so it's quite a nice it's quite a raised card so that was my first play this morning and um, this was my next one and I quite like this one I'll hold it up a little bit um, instead of colouring the dogs, I coloured the background behind the dogs. Can you see that? I'm not sure. Let me turn this light off. That might help. No, I don't think it does. Um, yeah, I coloured in between the dogs. And that makes the dogs actually pop up, and like pop out of the, the cardstock. And I've coloured all the little scarves. Um, or cravats I don't know what you'd really call them in berry burst and I put a little bit of wink of Stella on them I don't you probably can't see the shimmer but it's really cute <clears throat> so I really like that one and this sentiment was from the layered beauty bundle the new one in the catalog um, yeah so that was my second one so I really quite like that one 
this was my next one so these are just standard A5 cards um, see I've just stamped a big background stamp and then fussy cut around some of them and layered it on that so they're, they're my three samples I, I think that's my favourite one out of my three normal cards standard cards but this is the card we're going to recreate so <laughs> I'm using, as I said, the Deckled Circles, the Doggone Friendly, the Coffee, the Latte Love Designer Series Paper, another online exclusive. I didn't realise I was using all online exclusive. So this is, I'll show you how it looks side on. So it is just a Z card, you can see that. But we've, stand, we've stood it up. Now because it's standing up, that's not going to stand up. So I've made that like a little stopper and now it will stand up for display. Can you see how this is a little stopper? Holds it shut so therefore it will stand for display. So that's what we're going to recreate. Okay, I'll show you how I did it. So let me put some things aside. I've already pre-cut quite a few things out and I'm just thinking what will I start with? Okay, let's start with start with our card base. So this time I'm doing it in early espresso. So this is half an A4 sheet of cardstock. You can see I've just uh, bring it down a bit. I've just put it in my trimmer and over at 10.5 centimeters, I've cut my piece of A4 cardstock in half. So that's how I've done done it this, today. Then I've scored it at 7.4 centimetres and at 14.8. So pretty much I've folded my card in half. Let me get my bone folder and given it a score. So that would be like your normal tent fold card. And then I've folded or scored it at 7.4 and that one will fold back on itself. And that's in half again. So easy, very easy scores, easy peasy. So as I said, well now look at that, it's going to stand up for me, silly. <laughs> okay, so this card, I've got my deckled circles cut out. I just need to stamp my background one. I'll show you, I put another one inside for where you can write on the card. So that's going to be up the top. Let's get our circles out of the way. Bring my piece of cardstock down. And because I was dealing with the crumb cake and early espresso, the only paper I have at the moment, I've got an order probably coming this week of more stuff, <laughs> but was the coffee, the Latte Love designer series paper. So I've used that. This one I put a piece, that piece on the inside. But I didn't want to recreate it exactly the same and I didn't think coffee splodges was exactly the right thing to have on the front. So this time around I'm going to use this Lost Lagoon paper and pop it like that. So that's the first thing we'll do. We'll put our paper layers on and then we can start with our stamping. I think that will be the easiest thing to do. So as I said, I didn't think the coffee splatters was probably the right things to have on a doggy card. So yes, our little Rosie, who's in the room with me, but she's sound asleep. She turns eight tomorrow. <clears throat> so I thought I've got to give her a birthday card. <laughs> Does anybody else give, give their pets birthday cards? <laughs> In the past I've gotten a balloon and stuff like that, but I'm not I'm not being silly this year. <laughs> She'll get a treat one way or another somehow. Um, but yeah. So yeah, she's eight. And they've been the best eight years. Well, we didn't have it when she was the day she was born, but they've been the best eight years ever. <laughs> so she's very much a family member. I thought I hadn't played with I've only had one play with this stamp set and I thought 
I will play with that and make a birthday card. I should have also been making a um anniversary card because it's my hubby's and my anniversary on Tuesday. But I can do that tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much easy. That's your card base done. If you wanted to do extra layers, then you just do like a layer of cardstock the same size as, as this paper and then bring your paper in half a centimetre less and less and that would make it multiple layers but I don't think we need to do multiple layers today so see and what we're going to do is that will go there and if I can pick it up <laughs> That will go there. That will be my stopper again. And then that will be my piece inside. So let's start with our stamping. Put that out of the way. So the first thing I'm going to stamp using um, the pour out of the, the, the kit. The little kit that I showed you. The card kit. And I'm going to use the Lily Espresso. I'm going to ink up my little pour. Get the ink off my block. Don't want that. And I'm just going to stamp that down. That's nice. I'm happy with that. I'll close this up for the moment. There we go. Um, what do I do? Oh, there it is. <laughs> what do I do with the little stamp set? I might keep that in my little dog stamp case. And then I've got, so these are the two smallest decal circles that I'm using. So I've got the ones I've used, I've left them out. So the pore has been stamped on the smallest. And then the one we're going to layer it onto is the next size. So now that I've told you that, I might pop them back in the the, um, the envelope. Okay. Put that there. So I might just attach my little paw. I really like the paw this way because then it, this part of the paw pad makes it a heart. But I think it would look funny being upside down. So I turned it around the other way. So, so I shall just put my little paw on my layered circle and that's done. It's quite an easy fold as I said it's just an, a Z fold we've just turned it up upright. <laughs> okay so now um, stamping, up, stamping up don't sell the Stamparatus anymore which is a bit sad, but it's great for background stamps. I struggle with background stamps, getting my hand around the big, the largest block that we have. So if you've got a stamp positioner, just use it. If you don't, see if you can find yourself one. <laughs> now, my stamp doesn't have the sticker on it. The sticker is in here. <laughs> I am... Um, made a huge mess of a big background stamp once um it was the one that i think it was called butterfly brilliance it was a big background stamp of butterflies i got myself into a big pickle with that so i don't actually put the um stickers on the back of my background stamps anymore because i ended up having to buy another stamp <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna position my Going to see where I want. Nope, that's not the way I wanted to do it. Yep. And I'm fi I find with the big background stamps, the magnets which are here, um, that come that used to come with the stamparatus, get in the way. So I just use a little piece of my tape to tape my piece of cardstock down. Now, if you've got a stamp positioner like this, if you pop your stamp case underneath the um, the plate, that props it up and it makes it easier to ink up. So I'm just going to get my early espresso ink 
and ink up my stamp. And the beauty of a stamp positioner is if you don't get a full image when you bring it over and push it down, you can actually do it again. Now I have got, oh no, I've missed a little bit here. Can you see that? So if I put that down again, the stamp is in the same place and now I've filled that piece in. So I'm pretty happy with that. So then I shall get my chamois and just clean off my stamp. So the other way you can use large background stamps if you can't get your hand around the big block is that you can oops, get that off. You can um put it on the block and have it facing upright, ink it up and then put your cardstock over it like this and then rub it with your hand. That's another way of doing it and I do do that sometimes. Now I'm going to put my magnets back here because oh gosh that one's attached itself to my metal um, frame that's holding the camera there we go okay so I shall put that back over here so what I'm going to do with this is these are the two circles from the deck of circles so let me see my early espresso piece is this one so it's one, two, three, four, five, the sixth largest circle in. And then this is the one I want to cut the dogs out with. So let me pop that one back. <laughs> then I won't lose the die. Okay, so I'm going to pop my circle. I could put it anywhere on here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around some of them so I've got white space here to put my sentiment so if I wanted these doggies up here I could do that if I want these ones down here that's probably where I'm going to put it so let me bring in my cut emboss machine just move a few things out of the way. Go. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put that out. I want to get this oodle, <laughs> as much of this oodle as I can. So I'm going to put it over here. And I can tape that down. And I'll put my top plate on and wind that through. So you can use any shape, it doesn't have to be the deck or the circle, you can use any shape um, to create this card. Okay, so I'll pop that there, let's get this out of the way. <clears throat> yeah, you could use a square from uh, like stylish shape dies, you could use the deck or rectangles, you could use the perennial postage dies doesn't have to be a circle. I just chose a circle. <laughs> okay, so let's bring this back in and take that off. And that's what we're left with. So let me pop this circle back in my little packet <laughs> so I don't lose it. There we go. <clears throat> And you can use, don't throw this out, you can use this. That's what I used for this card. I cut it across and then I cut it out and coloured some of my dogs in. So don't chuck that bit out. You can use it. <laughs> so <clears throat> that's our piece that's going to go back there. So now with this one, I'm going to get my paper snips and I'm going to <coughs> clear my voice and have a sip of water. Um, I'm going to choose 
the same doggies because I've put my circle down low on the um on the big background stamp and I am going to just start fussy cutting around some of them like so I just want to show you how I did this So you just go as close as you can to the um, the dogs that you're wanting to. No, that one goes down. <laughs> that you're wanting to highlight and cut around. So I'm going to keep that golden retriever or Labrador. I want him. I'll come back up around him. There we go. Go around his little head. So we've had a funny weekend this weekend with the weather. It's sort of been a bit rainy. <clears throat> Good crafting weather. <laughs> I went through all my retired products yesterday and I've got things ready for a BOGO sale I've got a launch next Saturday and I've got things all ready and marked so that if people want to order from the new catalog they can choose something from my retired products to the same value okay so that's I do throw that out I don't keep that that's how I've done that so what we're going to do I've got two of these cut is we're going to and being deckled if you want to match your decals up <laughs> if that's even a thing you can okay and see we'll uh, oh I've had that too high sorry we will attach that down and um onto that now I have, I will then colour this. Now for the ones I found the best to colour the dogs with, I forgot I had them because I'm a, a nong. <laughs> These are all the skin tone blends. They are in the new catalogue. I don't know where they are. Let me have a look. Let's go to the index. So with the new catalogue, the index is your best friend. Um, let me just see if I can find stamping spritzes, blender pens. That's not it. Colouring tools. You'd think it would be in there. So let's see if we can find what I'm looking for. Ink and colouring. This is it over here. Um, maybe not. <laughs> Ah, yes, page 135 to 139. Okay. I wonder if that will have the skin tone ones. So these are all the blends for your colour collections. Yes. Let's just check. Okay, so they're all the colour collections. Do they have the skin tones here? Of course they don't. Stamping Blends Combo Pack. They are in this catalogue. I have seen them. I just can't find them. Because things are quite difficult to find in this catalogue. Um, but yeah. They come in a set of two, four... Six, eight, nine, and they don't have colors they have numbers on them um, I bought them for coloring people faces and skins skin tones I've never used them for that but I found the perfect use for them today with the puppy dogs so that's what I would be coloring them in but you don't want to sit and watch me color so here's one I prepared earlier <laughs> And that's what we're going to use. So I have just coloured my dogs in with the skin tone blends that I can't find in the new catalogue. <laughs> but 
but I'm sure they are there. I just can't find them. And I'm just going to match my decals up as best I can. And I will attach that to my decal circle. So. <clears throat> So I've been doing an online retreat today, but not with um, stamping up. <laughs> um, I've been doing it with, let me just concentrate and get my decals as close to matching as I can. If I was clever, I would have kept them together, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. There we go. Let me grab my tissue for glue spurtage. There we go. Puppies are down. Yes, yeah, so I did an online retreat today. Um, this weekend with um, a company that I've been following since January. I decided before Christmas I needed to look after myself. And I've been following Bridget's Healthy Kitchen. And it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> and yes, I did an online retreat this weekend and it included cooking lessons, it included yoga, it included meditation, stretching, all sorts of things and it was really good. Okay, so I'm bringing my early espresso ink back in and I've got the happy birthday from the Garden Meadow stamp set. It's happy birthday. So I will take it off there. Ink up my happy birthday. And I'm going to, I don't want to bring my head in. There we go. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed that. I'm a bit tired. That's probably why my voice is croaky. <laughs> a lot of information to take on board but that's okay but I am a lot healthier than I was before Christmas and that's the main thing okay and I've lost a lot of weight so <laughs> that's even better okay I'm going to attach that to my larger decal circle So currently I'm 12 kilos down since I started in January and I went to the doctor the other day and I'm off three medications. I no longer need them and my doctor was very happy with the results that I'm getting. So that made me happy. But you guys don't need to know that. <laughs> know any of that, sorry. <laughs> okay. So now I just have to work out, I think I might place my large circle here first because, there we go, yeah, because then I can work out where I'm going to put my doggies. Okay, so I'm going to put that one down next. So there we go, I'll put that about there, and then I can easily cover it up. That's going to go on a dimensional, and we'll get rid of that, whoops. Yeah, so that's going to go about there. Is that centered? Let me just try and center that. That looks right. Okay, and now this one is going to go like this. I'll put it down here, but it will actually tuck under there. Nope, that's not going to work. I need to move this up a little bit. So let me get, where's my pokey tool? Let me get my little pokey tool, lift that off. Oops. Oh, 
that didn't go so well for me, did it? It's because I'm tired. <laughs> Let me get my... It doesn't matter because that's still going to get covered up. So you can always fix things. Oops, here they are. Okay, maybe I should put this on first. And then this will go. There we go. I didn't, I didn't struggle with this before. <laughs> now maybe. That's better. That's what we're wanting. Okay, so we want to put glue on this part of the circle on the back up to his nose. <laughs> Of course, I can't see his nose now, but that's okay. I will guess and hope I get it right. <laughs> so there we go. Slide it under my stopper and push that down. I'll make sure it's straight. And then I will just have a little look now. I've got a bit of glue spurting over, so I shall wipe that down. Wipe that off. There we go. And there we have, it's called an upright Z fold card. There we go. I got it. It's an upright Z fold card. So it's upright, but it's a Z fold. See? And then. It's not going to work for me. It's not going to cooperate. This one's not going to do it for me. <laughs> Wouldn't that rot your socks? Yes, it will. This one works. <laughs> there we go. See, that's how it's meant. <laughs> that's how it's meant to stand. <laughs> Mine's just not working for me because it's just not wanting to cooperate. I know why. My dimensional's probably up a little bit too high. Let me just see if I can fix it. <laughs> I'll get rid of the backing. I don't know why things work for me when I'm not doing a video and they don't work for me when I'm doing a video. That's just not fair. <laughs> okay, let's just do that. Let's see if that's going to work for me. There we go. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> so they are our two. Um, what did I say they were called again? <laughs> Upright Z fold cards. There we go. Let me write that down before I forget it again. Oops. I'm going to put some bling on. Upright. Z fold card. There we go. So that's our card for today, for this week. So it's using doggone friendly. I've got a bit of glue where I don't want glue. Let me just wipe those off because otherwise they'll get stickiness on them. Pick up some dirt. Um, yeah, it's using the online exclusive doggone friendly background stamp. The Garden Meadow stamp for the happy birthday. The Deckled Circle dies, all online exclusive. And the paper, the Latte Love, is an online exclusive. Um, yeah, so that's what you look, that's where you'd write to your doggy <laughs> or your friend. <laughs> now let me grab some bling. I don't need any more dimensionals, so I can pop them away. And I can pop that up there. Oopsie. Okay, 
So I use the Latte Love um, coffee swirls on these this card, but I think let me just put that there because that's glaring a little bit. I think I wonder what if we've got any Lost Lagoon in anything tinsel gem three pack. What's in there? Lost Lagoon. They don't look Lost Lagoon. So they're Misty Moonlight, Fresh Freezer and Lost Lagoon. They look very green. This looks more blue. Hmm. I don't think I want to use those. Let's see what else we've got. Tinsel Gems 4-pack. Lemon Lime Twist. No, don't like them either. Not for this card anyway. <laughs> Um, I can't find where they go. Doesn't matter. Four pack. Go see. What about is that? These? No. What's the less thoughtful journey? No. I've got some something called blooming pearls. I think here. What are these? Oh, look. These might be nice. Let's have a little look. So they're petal pink, I think they're pretty peacock. These are garden green and these are gold. Garden green looks quite nice, doesn't it? Let's do that. That looks quite nice. Then we'll do another little one up here or down here. There we go. And another little one maybe here. So they're the blooming pearls and they've carried over they've carried over to the new catalog so that's good okay let's put our tinsel gem three pack away so that that's our card for today so i hope you guys enjoyed that <laughs> enjoyed me muffing it up and trying to get it to stand upright when it wouldn't cooperate <laughs> And this is one of my other ones. And these are, these are all my doggone friendly cards. So I hope you enjoyed that. I think they're really cute. I do like this one, how you just colour the background and the dogs pop off the cardstock. You don't colour the dogs, you colour the background. So thank you for watching. Let me go back to here. Thanks for watching tonight. Or today, this afternoon, it's turned dark. I did bring my blind down. <laughs> I didn't want what happened last weekend to happen. <laughs> I brought my blind down so nobody could be spying on me. He, the fellow was, he's in a townhouse a, 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 quite a way away. But yeah, he was on his veranda looking at me because my light was on and it got dark and it was creepy. <laughs> So I put my blind down before I started. <laughs> um, so I hope you like that card. I hope Rosie likes it tomorrow. She's my little sweetheart. So I, I'm trying to get this right. I can't get it right. <laughs> I hope you like my upright Z-fold card. <laughs> Have a great week, everybody. And I shall see you on Friday for Card and a Cuppa. Bye for now.